right now what we're focused on is really getting the technical aspects of the test set up so we can do it at really high quality and then the space, the physical space set up and we're really transforming the space in a matter of days um, to be ready to handle really high volume clinical testing with high volume, high scale automation. In a way, because we're ramping down our scientific research work, we can kind of divert more energy and more of our uh, attention to the COVID test and be able to bring that up even quicker than we expected. What we're doing with, this, uh, with these clinical samples is we get a nasal swab or an oral swab from the different hospital sites. We'll actually take that and we'll push it through what we call a reverse transcription quantitative PCR assay. So it's not a sequencing assay, it's actually much simpler. It's a very simple readout that allows us to see if the virus is present or not and gives us a yes or no answer. Um, the challenge with it is getting from that swab to actual RNA genetic material that we can test. Um, what we've been able to do and add is a lot of our liquid handling automation that allows us to scale this test very rapidly and we have a lot of expertise in, in taking those manual protocols and making them into a high throughput, high, highly scalable protocol. And that's what we'll add to this test to enable us to get to more than a thousand a day. We work really closely with all the hospitals in the Boston area and um, we've set up a lot of our systems to be able to interact with hospitals easily. And so that's a, a strong foundation for us to kind of build this test on top of um, and allows us to kind of interact with those hospitals. For us here at Broad, we're all in a way excited to be able to have this chance and show the world what we can do and what we've built here and how that can really transform you know, the scale at which we'll be able to do this testing, at least um, statewide.